like you to become better at through our course is identifying when you should use a master page or when you should use a style. It's really important because most people learn master pages first and they're kind of easier to use so people tend to use them more often but styles are actually more powerful in my opinion and as long as you understand when a master page is more appropriate and when a style is more appropriate you can use both effectively. So earlier in this lecture, we talked about master pages. For example, for whatever reason, most InDesign users are more comfortable using master pages before they are comfortable using styles. This causes problems when master pages are not used for what they should be. Oftentimes, InDesign users will try to make a master page work when a style would be more appropriate. So when should we use a master page? Master pages should be used when the repeating element repeats in exactly the same way, the same size, the same position on the page, etc on every page that the master page has been applied to. A good example of this is a running header or automated page numbering. When should you use a style? A style should be used when something about the object or text repeats. The size repeats, the color repeats, and the object effect like a drop shadow repeats, but it's not in exactly the same way. Styles are more flexible. They can be used to repeat just the similar attribute. For example, your design may contain different graphic frames. They're different sizes, they're in different positions on different pages. Some might be squares, some might be ovals, and that kind of thing. But all graphic frames may have a six point blue border and a drop shadow. Styles repeat just the similar stroke weight, the thickness of the stroke, and the stroke color and the drop shadow settings. You're free to change the size of the frame, the placement of the image, etc and move the frame without impacting any of the other graphic frames in your design. We're going to review the basic steps for creating a style and then we'll talk about how to nest them. There are a couple different ways to create styles in InDesign. I recommend the following basic steps. Following these steps will ensure your style is created, it contains the formatting settings you wish to save, and that the new style is applied to your object or your text. My example will be for an object style, but the process is the same for all five style types in InDesign. I recommend that you format the first item you wish to repeat the settings for until it meets your design goals. Make sure it's 100% the way that you want it to be formatted. Do not create the style and then edit it, although that is another option. Once the first object, so we, maybe we have a graphic frame, once it's formatted perfectly, it has the right stroke, it has the right color of the stroke, it has the drop shadow on it. You can select that item. You want to select a frame if you're making an object style, but if you're making a text-based style, like a character style or a paragraph style, you need to select the text. Once you have selected the item that you're going to create the style from, you need to select the new style icon at the bottom of the styles panel that you're working with. We're going to create an object style, so I'm going to select the new style icon at the bottom of the object styles panel, but if you were creating a paragraph, character, table, or even cell style, you would use those panels. Once you create the new style, you've created the new style based on what's selected, but it's not linked to what you have selected. It's separate. So you must immediately double click the new style to launch the style options dialog box. By doing this, you one, apply the style to the object that's actually selected, and two, you can rename the style so that you can see it better than new paragraph style one. So you can say this is the body copy paragraph style or this is the graphic frames um, object style. You can see here that I wanted to create an object style from whatever settings that we'll call this little spinny thing here. So I changed the color, I added some bevel effects, I added a, a border, I made the border dots, I changed the color of the border, etc. So I first formatted it Notice how it's automatically linked to basic graphic frame. There are basic frames that are included on your styles panel that you cannot edit. They just exist um, and you don't really want to use them. If you wanted to edit your own styles, you want to create new styles. So when I create a new object, it's automatically linked to basic graphic frame. I edited it so I got a plus sign. Anytime you see the plus sign, it means that whatever you have selected is linked to that style, but it does not link to it in the default way you've made a change in some way. So what I did was I immediately hit down here, I hit the new style icon. The little piece of paper with the corner turned up means new and if it's on 
the swatches panel, it's a new swatch. If it's on the object styles panel, it's a new object style. As soon as I hit new uh, style, it created a object style one paragraph style. But notice how even though I have the object style one, my selection is still linked to basic graphic frame. So then I double clicked on object style one and I just double clicked my slideshow by accident. I double clicked object style one, which launched the object styles dialog box. In here, you can give it a new name. So I called it the bevel circle logo. logo. And then as soon as I select OK, notice how that same object is still selected, but now it's linked to the beveled circle logo. Once you create a style, you can apply the style as many times as you want over and over again, as long as you link objects to it. So every new frame that I created, my circle, my hexagon, my star, and my square, they are linked to this basic graphic frame by default. But if I want to, I can select an object and click beveled circle logo, and then these settings or these attributes that I saved for the circle will automatically be applied to the other shapes. So you can see here, whoops, you can see here I selected the square and then I clicked beveled circle logo and now those settings are linked to the square. And if we continue, you can select each one of these objects one at a time, click the beveled circle logo object style, and then it becomes linked to that object style. So if I was to go in and edit that object style and change it to be bright yellow instead of bright blue, everything that's linked to it will change in color.